Have you noticed that sometimes it takes a single inspirational thought to massively impact your life? The right mindset shift, the right movement can help you break through the barriers that you didn't even realize were holding you back. Today, I want to share with you several life lessons that I have learned over a period of time, small mindset changes that have made a huge difference in my journey thus far. These are the lessons that I've learned and applied over years and they have worked for me and my hope is that they work for you too. Before I get started, a reminder to 90% of you who haven't yet subscribed to my channel to do so now and click on the notification bell icon so that you can be reminded every time I release a new video. I put a lot of effort in building this content for you and your subscription lets me know that you find value in the content that I deliver. It also helps with channel reach and inspires others to be successful in life. And now that we have you subscribed, Let's get started. After delivering a sold out session at Women Transforming Technology on fast tracking your career, I was asked if I had a book on the topic. And I said, not yet. That day on my way back, I remember calling all my friends who had published books, asking for a publisher who would be ready to publish my book. Within three months, we published my book, Fast Track Your Leadership Career that you see over here. And within 11 hours of its release, it was named Amazon number one bestseller in its category. The point that I want to make over here is the power of the word yet. The word yet can make a difference. Instead of saying, I can't do it, try saying, I can't do it yet. That small shift in the mindset reframes the situation. It reminds you that just because you don't know how to do something right now, it doesn't mean that you will never learn. The key is to give yourself the time, the grace, and the space to grow. I've seen it play out so many times in my life, whether it's business or personal challenges. The yet mindset is incredibly empowering because it reminds you that growth takes time. It's okay to not be perfect. It's okay not to be right every time, as long as you continue to grow and to learn. So next time you feel like you can't do something, remember that you can't do something yet. You can always learn how to do things. When I started my YouTube channel, I was so concerned about what others would think. How would they perceive me? I was concerned about every single mistake that I would make on the camera. Have you ever walked into a room or given a presentation and felt like everyone is noticing you? They're watching your every little move. Maybe you made a small mistake and felt like the entire world noticed and was slightly judging you. This is something that many of us experience and it's called the spotlight effect. The feeling that we are center of everybody's attention, even though we really are not. The truth is that people are so caught up in their own lives, dealing with their own mess that they rarely have time to pay that kind of attention to us. We are not the center of universe for everybody. Understanding this was a game changer for me. Once I let go of the fear of constant judgment, I found myself free free to speak, to act and make decisions with confidence. Having this understanding and breaking away from the spotlight effect is extremely helpful in situations where we are holding ourselves back because of the judgment of others, like public speaking, sharing our ideas or taking on a leadership role. Realizing that people aren't really scrutinizing us on our every little move can liberate us from self-doubt. It allows us to show up more authentically and ultimately that authenticity is what people resonate with the most. So now I don't worry about it. Even if I make small mistakes while I'm recording these videos for you, it's okay. Nobody's perfect and I know that you value this authenticity when I bring these videos to you. The next lesson that I want to talk to you about is special to me. We are all taught that we need to have a North Star, a goal and we need to stick to it. But here's what I have realized. As time changes, our priorities and our goals change too. When I was young, I wanted to be a doctor. That was my goal. My whole life revolved around preparing for that entrance exam. It so happened that I fell sick three months before the entrance exams. And even though I tried in various states, I could not make it to the medical entrance exams. I was depressed and I took on a science program in college. I didn't see a path forward. So I had to look at my life differently now and change. For a long time, I resisted this change because it meant that I was giving up on my goal, that I haven't been consistent enough, that I hadn't tried hard enough. 
and there was this fear that people will make fun of me. Today, as I look back, I'm grateful for the journey and the accomplishments that came along. If I would have been a doctor, my path would have been different and the impact that I'm making today, I might not have been able to make that if I was a doctor. Whether it's a career shift or personal decisions or even just evolving your mindset, change can feel intimidating. But what I've learned over years is that change is not only okay, but it's also essential for growth. If we never change, we are stuck. We limit our potential. The more I embrace change, the more opportunities I saw unfolding before me. It's okay to pivot. It's okay to reassess your goals and to follow new paths. In fact, that's often when most exciting opportunities and possibilities lie for us. So if you're feeling uneasy about a shift in your life, if you feel like you need to change your North Star, it's okay to make that change. You're allowed to evolve. In fact, that's the sign that you're growing. Now let's talk about the idea of having it all. The idea of having it all is something that many of us strive for. It can often feel like an impossible juggling act, taking care of your personal and professional needs. We all aspire for fulfilling careers, personal happiness, strong relationships, and time for self-care. But the reality is that we can't have it all all the time at the same time. We can't do everything perfectly all the time. And sometimes we can't carve out time for everything at the same time on the same day. So here's what I have learned. It's not about doing everything. It's about doing the right things for you. It's about setting priorities that align with your values and being okay with not being perfect in everything every area of your life. There will be times when work will need more focus and there will be time when personal priorities would take over. And that's okay. The key is to understand that balance is dynamic. You don't have to have everything in perfect harmony every single day. What is important is that you're intentional with your choices and that you're kind to yourself along the way. Letting go of the pressure to do it all and instead focusing on doing what mattered most to me every day in the moment was something that helped me recalibrate myself and find that dynamic balance that I'm talking about. I've just learned that you can have it all, but you can't have it all at the same time. Not necessarily. Do you know which voice do you hear the most? It's not your parents. It's not your spouses. It's not your kids or your manager's voice. It's your own voice. And I learned the most important voice that you will ever hear is your own. The way you talk to yourself matters. If you constantly tell yourself that you're not good enough, that you are going to fail or that you don't deserve success, those thoughts will shape up your reality. But if you start telling yourself that you are capable, that you are learning and you're growing and you're overcoming challenges, you'll begin to see yourself differently and so will the world. I used to be really hard on myself whenever I faced a challenge or didn't get something right on the first try, my inner dialogue would suddenly turn negative. You're not good enough. You're going to fail. You don't deserve it. You haven't prepared enough. These thoughts were on a repeat and the more I listened to them, the more I failed. I started holding back myself on taking risks because in the back of my head, the voice was always telling me that I wasn't ready or I would fail or I wasn't good enough to take that risk. But here's what I figured out. I could change my success rate. I could improve my success rate by changing how I spoke to me. When I started telling myself that I am capable, that I'm learning and every setback is just a way forward, things begin to shift for me. It didn't happen overnight, but little by little, my inner voice became my biggest supporter instead of being my harshest critic. I started to feel more comfortable and confident in my decisions. I became more resilient when things didn't go as planned. It's amazing what can happen when you start trusting yourself and reminding yourself that you are enough. I can't tell you how powerful the positive self-talk has been for me. I've learned that the voice that I hear should be my cheerleader all the time. It shouldn't be my biggest doubter. Now, this doesn't mean to ignore challenges or pretend that everything is is perfect but it means being kind to myself instead of tearing myself down when things don't go my way 
I remind myself that I'm doing my best. When I began to shift my inner dialogue from negative to positive, I noticed that the challenges became more manageable because I wasn't constantly battling myself. I was my biggest cheerleader. I had a friend in myself who was cheering me up when I was feeling low. The voice in your head is the voice that you hear the most. So make sure that it's a supportive one. Surround yourself with people who lift you up, who reinforce your positive mindset and who encourage you to keep pushing forward. When you start believing in yourself, everything else would fall into place. So these are the five lessons that have been life-changing for me. They've guided me through difficult decisions, helped me overcome self-doubt and allowed me to grow both personally and professionally. I hope these lessons resonate with you and they offer some kind of inspiration as you are on your own journey. Remember, success is not about being perfect or having all the answers right away. It's about growth. It's about resilience. It's about the mindset that you bring to every challenge. And now I would love to hear from you. What are the lessons that you have learned that have had biggest impact in your life? Share them in the comments below. I can't wait to read them. And who knows, you might be inspiring someone else with your wisdom. If you found this video useful, I would love for you to share it with your network. I would also love for you to like, comment and subscribe. Over 90% of the people who visit my channel have not subscribed yet and your subscribing would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a successful week. Bye-bye.